Yo, you having a hard time sourcing blank t-shirts and transfers? Let me help you out. Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. You taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you got to do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando. Let's go. What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando, and today let's talk about finding the right blank t shirt and the right transfers for your business. Now, this video right here sounds kind of dumb, right? Probably thinking, man, I heard you talk about blank t shirts and transfers for the last five, seven years on YouTube. What's the difference? The difference comes down to you. What exactly you're doing for your business? We all might have a heat press, we all might use transfers, we all might sell t shirts, but our businesses could be structured differently. Just because we have the same equipment, does not mean we have the same business. And I cannot stress this enough. Now, the reason I say this, my core business for what I do is I create brands and I sell t-shirts under those brands at a retail price. But also I print for other people. Those are two different businesses, two different models that require two different thought processes. I source different t-shirts for my brands than what I use for printing for other people. I use different transfers for what I use for my brands versus what I use when I print for other people. And still, this might sound very confusing to a lot of people out there. So I'm here to try to help sort it all out for you. So if you're watching this and you just do custom one-off shirts, maybe you run an Etsy shop and you do a lot of custom orders, you could find something out of this video. If you run a business where you mainly print for other people, contract printing, printing in bulk for other people, and I'm not talking under your brand's name, I'm talking just in general as a business, you're printing for other people. They come to you and say, hey, I need 58 shirts for my softball team. Hey, I need 24 shirts for this family reunion. Hey, my company needs 100 t-shirts for a fundraiser. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying printing for other people, contract printing, stuff like that. And then if you run your own brand and you're selling t-shirts at a retail price with your own designs on them, this is your company, this is your clothing line, this is your clothing brand. Hopefully you find some value in this video also. Now, the reason why I say all three of these things are different is because each one requires a different thought process. We'll start for the people that run a brand. When I'm sourcing blank t-shirts for my brand, I'm looking for fit and feel, I'm looking for color offerings, and I'm looking for availability. Now you're probably thinking, man, I look for that and I run this type of business, this type of business. Those are the same things I look for. But here's where I break it down even smaller than that. When I'm looking for stuff for my brand, the price of some of those t-shirts might be a lot more expensive than what somebody wants to pay if I'm doing contract printing. Right? If the blank t-shirt costs, let's say eight bucks, that $8 blank might feel like a premium quality blank for me and that's what I wanna offer for my brand. That's what I want my brand to live on. That's what I want my customers to know about my brand is this is the quality I put out. Maybe it's softer cotton, maybe it's a trendier cut, maybe the color offerings are based on some kind of trend, right? So this is why I have to source a different blank t-shirt for my brands. This isn't the same blank t-shirt I'm gonna be offering to somebody I'm doing a custom one-off shirt because they're not gonna to wanna to pay $8 for the blank. Because that one-off t-shirt, maybe they're only gonna wear it once and it's not worth it to to print on that t-shirt. Maybe they just want a standard generic fitting shirt. You know what I'm saying? Now, when I say availability, I mean I need to make sure that I could get these shirts in bulk at any time. Availability to me is they're never out of stock because if they're out of stock, then that means I'm out of stock. If I'm not printing t-shirts and selling t-shirts, I'm not making any money. So availability is everything to me. Quality is a personal preference, whatever you think is quality. So when I source blank t-shirts for my brands, I'm basically finding a t-shirt that my target audience would love and enjoy. That's what I'm going for. When you're printing for other people, contract printing, there's no real target audience. Your target audience is the person that's buying the shirts from you, right? They're the ones that's sourcing 100 t-shirts. But the end user isn't who you're printing for, you're printing for the client that's coming to you to bring in the work. The end user is the guy wearing the t-shirt. So when you do contract printing, you're printing for your client. Your client's the one that's selling the shirt or giving the shirts away or doing whatever with the shirts. He's hand to hand with the end user. You're going to the client only. Try to wrap your brain around that. Now, when it comes to transfers, 
I source different transfers for my brands, right? Because I'm going for a different look, feel, goes back to quality, goes back to availability, consistency, is everything to me. When I'm ordering transfers for my brands, I'm ordering in the hundreds. That's where I find my price breaks. That's where I utilize stuff like gang sheets, the stuff you hear me talk about on my channel, because that's what I do for my brands, is I source from quality printers that provide the same quality print every single time. And that can hold up to the quantity that I order. If I need to order 300 transfers, and I need them turned around in a day or two, I know who to go to. Because as you know, in a print business, the more you order, the cheaper per piece it is. So ordering in bulk is always cheaper than ordering a low quantity. So when I source transfers for my brand, I'm not thinking about printing for others or doing one-off shirts and stuff like that. I'm thinking about bulk orders, multiple bulk orders a week, a month, always constantly ringing up. And I need that same quality every single time because those are my t-shirts that I'm selling for retail. I know what the popular designs are. I know how many times a week I need to re-up on certain things. I know how many launches I'm gonna be doing for the next three to four months. I'm ordering in big amounts, but with those big amounts, I need to make sure that every single transfer is exactly the same. So when I source transfers, I'm sourcing transfers for a specific business, my brand. That same company that I'm using for my brand, I can use it to print for other people, but also I'm sourcing different transfers for those customers because it's a different need, it's a different feel, it's a totally different business. So when you hear me talking about using certain companies and I'm ordering by the hundreds and you're ordering by 10 or 12 sheets, and then you start to see that the price doesn't make sense for you, you need a source from a different supplier because you're going based off of what I'm buying in bulk. And if you're not buying in bulk like myself, the price doesn't make sense to you, but the price by the hundreds makes a lot of sense to me. You see what I mean? Once again, there's confusion because of what you guys see on YouTube. You think that's just a blanket statement and it's good for every single business, but it's not. That's what I'm trying to explain to you is when you source for certain things, you're looking for different things. Obviously, everybody wants a cheaper transfer. That's a given. But at the same exact time, if I know I'm paying a little bit extra, I'm paying a little bit extra for quick turnarounds, consistency and quality, a reliable source. These are things that I'm looking for when I'm doing stuff for my brand. Now, when I'm sourcing stuff for contract printing, I'm looking for a generic t-shirt. Right? I'm looking for a generic fitting t-shirt that I could get my hands on the quickest. I'm looking for a generic t-shirt that I could get my hands on after hours. I'm looking for a generic t-shirt that has standardized sizing, right? If you start to get these custom fitted shirts, sizing is gonna be a lot different for the end user. But once again, you don't deal with the end user. You're dealing with the client that's bringing you the work. So this is when I'm sourcing blank t-shirts for the contract side of my business, like printing for others side of my business. That's where I'm only looking for a cheap blank t-shirt, cheap in price that has a generic fit that I could get my hands on the quickest and I could get my hands on them after hours. So when you guys hear me talking about, oh, I could just go to the liquor store and buy a pro club or I could just go to the swap meet and buy a AAA t-shirt or all style shirt. That's what I mean by buying it after hours. If I have to buy it for retail and I mess up on that job and I need to replenish a few shirts, I know I could go source these from other places outside of just the wholesaler that I deal with, right? So now I'm looking for a good t-shirt, something that's gonna hold up, but I also need a generic fitting shirt because I need the sizing to be somewhat similar to the end user. I also need to make sure that the color offerings are what the customer wants, right? Sometimes the customer could say, hey, I need 100 Kelly green shirts. So I need to make sure that I'm dealing with a supplier that offers these crazy colors. So my thought process is a lot different when I'm sourcing for printing for others, doing contract printing, operating as a print house, right? It's not gonna be the same blank t-shirt that I use for my brands because I don't want a generic fitting t-shirt for my brands. I want a quality premium t-shirt for my brands. When I'm printing for others, I don't wanna offer them that quality premium because they're not wanting to pay for that quality or premium. I could bump the price up in my retail price to cover the cost of that premium t-shirt because those are retail shirts that I'm selling. When I'm printing for others, you're not selling at a retail price. You're selling at a mass production price. It's just by volume, that's all it is. So if I'm offering an eight, $9 blank for my brands, I'm not printing on that eight, $9 blank for somebody that just wants, you know, 24 t-shirts for the paintball club. You know what I mean? Those guys just want a generic fitting shirt. They want the print on the shirt and that's all they care about. So tear away tags and all that stuff, it doesn't matter for that. Tear away tags for the brand, yeah, that matters. Or if I'm snipping the tag, cutting off a woven tag, 
to place my own in. I'm not doing that for the contract printing stuff. I'm just leaving the regular tag that comes with the shirt in there. That's what I'm offering. So once again, different thought process, right? Same thing goes for transfers. When I'm sourcing transfers for printing for other people operating as the print house, I need to have a list of multiple transfer companies that I can go to for multicolor stuff, high quantity, low quantity. Single color stuff, high quantity, low quantity. Maybe it's a two color job. Maybe they want something crazy like glow in the dark or something like that. Now I have to source for other things. For my brand, I'm not offering glow in the dark, so I don't have to source that kind of transfer. But for printing for other people, I'm sourcing from different places because there's different needs, right? So now I'm going through a bunch of different plastisol transfer companies because maybe the client wants the plastisol transfer, right? I can't use DTF because maybe they don't like the feel of the DTF. Maybe they need something else. So if I just been sourcing DTF transfers from one supplier, I can't offer that to the client if the client doesn't like that. I need to be flexible and I need to have multiple, multiple companies that I can source from. I need to know what their turnaround times are. I need to know what minimums they have, if they have minimums. This is where people utilize the stuff like 15 cent transfers. There might be a $25 setup fee, but you can charge your customer the $25 setup fee. And then you're getting your transfers for 15 cents or 50 cents or whatever the price is. And you can utilize stuff like that. And then you understand what the turnaround time is, or you understand what the shipping is, or maybe it makes sense to do a gang sheet. Then you don't pay no setup, but you could gang up multiple designs on there. You as the business owner, this is what you have to think about. Just one company is not going to do it for you. I know these companies say we offer DTF and plastic transfers and blah, 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 blah. What if there's some blizzard around that shop and they can't get the transfers out? So now you need to go to another transfer company. This is what I mean by having multiple companies. You as the business owner have the flexibility of using whatever company you want to. You don't just have to use the companies that these YouTubers talk about. You could use the companies I use and then the companies that somebody else uses and then the companies that somebody else uses. Make it work for yourself. That's all it is. You're looking for pricing because your pricing has to be competitive in order for you to get you know, a decent profit off of it. So pricing is going to be a big factor. Turnaround time is a big factor. Obviously, being able to lay the transfer down, that should be a given already for you. But sourcing the transfers from different companies only strengthens your business because now you can offer all kinds of stuff. You don't have to be stuck to one transfer company. You use whatever company you want to and then make sure you have a backup to that company. All right, that company offers this, this, and this. Let me find another company that offers the same exact thing. Maybe their pricing's a little bit different, but this company right here is on the opposite end of the country. So if they're having a bad winter storm, you know you could get it from over here because they have sunshine throughout the year. You know what I mean? That's just basically how it works. As a business owner, you gotta have multiple vendors. Same goes for your blank t-shirts. You gotta make sure you could get it from the directly from the manufacturer and then if the manufacturer is down for whatever reason go to a third party supplier go to a different third party supplier you got to have multiple accounts open just to keep your business afloat at all times so like i said different thought process for the brand i'm thinking of a different type of quality a different type of feel a different type of offering because i'm ordering in huge quantities printing for other people i'm looking for who has low minimums because sometimes i only need 24 transfers or maybe 18 transfers and i don't need 100 or 200 transfers so i need to know what companies i could go to that's going to make the most sense for me where i can find the most profit off of it but it's also sourcing single color double color triple color multicolor, and then also puff glow in the dark foil metallic whatever else you want to offer to your clients because when you're printing for other people they got weird requests you got to make sure that you can actually meet their needs that's how it works now when you're printing solely custom shirts one off maybe six at the most you run an etsy shop that you let people customize the shirts with certain names and this and that now you're looking for a different type of blank t-shirt Right. You could offer the generic fitting stuff. You could offer the quality stuff, but you also have to make sure that you have all these different color offerings. Right. Sometimes you're offering hoodies, crew necks, T-shirts, tank tops, and you got to be able to source all of these things. So sourcing a blank T-shirt for one off things is a lot different than sourcing for printing for other people, because when you're printing for other people, now what you're doing is you have a set size list and color list and you're ordering based off of that. When you're buying blank t-shirts for your brand, like your retail stuff, you're going based off of what your target audience wears. You're going based off of the information that you figured out to say, all right, extra large and double X is my popular sizes for my brand. That's what I'm going heavy on. Small, medium, large, not so much, I'm gonna go lighter on. If you tried to do that 
when you print for Etsy or you're doing one-off shirts and that's how you stock things up. What if small and medium is your popular sizes because the ladies on Etsy are buying those sizes and you went heavy on extra large and double X and nobody that wears double X is buying off of Etsy. See what I mean? Your thought process has to adapt to what your business is. It's not the same across the board. Same with transfers. A lot of times people on Etsy are using stock transfers that you could buy from somebody that's already created the artwork, already has it printed on the transfer sheet for you. And then you offer that and then you press it on, send it off. A lot of people are using vinyl on there because you could customize stuff, right? You're doing one or two t-shirts for a certain client. Maybe it's some anniversary style shirt where it says, you know, the date they got married for a man and a woman or something like that. Or what if you're doing some stuff for somebody going to Disneyland and it says my first trip to Disneyland or it's somebody's first birthday going to Disneyland. And now it says Dylan's first birthday Disneyland trip or something. You're cutting that out on vinyl or you're using a DTG printer or something. But sourcing transfers and vinyl and stuff like that is gonna be a lot different because your profit margins are gonna be different. You're only doing one t-shirt, but it's a custom shirt. So there's a lot more handwork that's involved. There's a lot more consultation with the client that's involved. Now sourcing transfers, you have to look for a DTF transfer company that can do one transfer and send it to you, or maybe a dozen transfers and send it to you, right? Profits are gonna be a lot different, so now you have to source from different companies. The company that I'm buying 200 transfers from is not gonna help you because you're not buying 200 transfers for your Etsy shop. If you're doing custom stuff, you're only gonna get one or two transfers for that order and then that's it. See what I mean? So understanding what your core business is, is the first step. Who you're selling to, what you're offering, what type of business are you in? You can run all three businesses under one roof. There's nothing wrong with that. But I highly advise you to focus on one thing and bring money in under one thing before you start venturing out and trying to get all this money everywhere else. Don't spread yourself thin. But understanding what your business is is gonna help you when it comes to sourcing stuff because you source things based on your business. You don't source stuff based on somebody you watch on YouTube and say, all right, I'm gonna do the same thing he's doing. Because if our businesses are different, our needs are gonna be different. So the stuff that I talk about, me ordering transfers in the hundreds, 200, 300s, and you're just trying to buy a transfer that you only need 18 pieces for, the price is gonna be way, way different. You know what I mean? And where I'm seeing a lot of profit, when I do my breakdowns and you guys see me talk about, all right, it only costs a dollar for this transfer, it's because I'm buying them by the hundreds. And you're over here buying a dozen of them, and it comes out to like, I don't know, $12 a transfer. And you're like, man, how's he getting that? It's because I'm buying in bulk. If you're not buying in bulk, that information doesn't help you. It's because our businesses are structured differently. Understanding that part is the biggest part of this game, man. Do not get caught up in whoever you watch and what their business is. If you wanted to marry your business similar to mine or somebody else you watch on YouTube, cool. But if you're watching the information that I share and I'm sharing it for people that run brands, and you're running an Etsy shop and you do custom shirts, the information is gonna be a little bit different for you. You know what I mean? So understanding that part, get out in front of it early so that way you could get to the profit a lot quicker. The information you find on my channel is just how I run my business. That's the information that I share on how I run my business. And it's for the people that have businesses similar to mine. But I do hope there's some little nugget within this video for somebody out there that runs any of the three businesses that we talked about that could really benefit from the information shared, all right? If you got any questions, please, 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 please leave it in the comments for me. I read all of them. Sometimes I get back to people. Sometimes I don't have time to, but I do read all of them. Follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yep. Yeah.